As ever, this year sees some excellent research on display at the EAU e-poster sessions. All conference will be meeting some of this year's award winners. Let's take a look. So in primary aldosteronism, the recommendations by the Endocrinology Society are to do adrenal venous sampling in every patient. It's really important to make a distinction between aldosterone producing adenoma on one side or bilateral adrenal hyperplasia because in the first instance it leads to surgery, the second instance leads to medical treatment. So we did a randomized control trial comparing CT-based and venous sampling-based outcome in patients with primary aldosteronism and the primary outcome was the intensity of anti-hypertensive drugs after one year of follow-up and we also looked at quality of life and cost. We found that in both groups, either CT-based or venous sampling-based groups, there's no difference in the intensity of drug treatment after one year, also no difference in quality of life, and we did find that the cost of adrenal venous sampling is much higher.